Albert Hubbard said, don't take life too seriously. You'll never get out of it alive. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you laughed? I mean like really laughed. I believe God has so much more in store for us. He doesn't just want us to live day to day without any joy or laughter. The scripture says in John 10, 10 that he wants us to live life to the full in abundance, overflowing. I think it's time that we lighten up and we start to laugh again. Several years ago when my kids were little, I'll never forget the day we had four toilets overflow in our house, y'all, at the same time. The toilet demon had officially entered our house. My kids were small, they were getting ready to go to church, and all Hades broke loose. Water was everywhere. My kids were wet, my shoes were wet. It was not a good morning. I don't know what happened to me, but as I was looking around at the extreme mess and calculating how many loads of laundry I'd be doing after church, and dreading the thought of having to redress myself and my kids, something happened to me. Y'all, I began to laugh. I shocked myself. My kids looked at me to see if it was okay to laugh, and when they realized it was, we all started laughing. And let me tell you something, it changed the atmosphere in our home for the better. In all reality, we could have allowed a bad moment to ruin our whole day. We had to shift our perspective. Were toilets overflowing really the end of the world? It might have seemed so to me, but it really wasn't. When we decided to laugh instead of crying and complaining, everything shifted for the better. Do you know that laughing 100 times has the same effect on the body as being on a stationary bike for 15 minutes? Not only that, but a daily dose of laughter can burn up to five pounds of fat over the course of a year. There's so much that we can gain from laughter. First of all, it can boost your mood. I mean, come on, you know, you can't feel anxious or angry or sad when you're laughing. Laughter also helps you get through tough times. It helps you to release stress and it allows you the ability to stay focused so you can accomplish more. Laughter reduces blood pressure and it improves blood flow. It fuels your immune system. It draws you closer to others. It's good for your emotional and mental health. Laughter essentially recharges your battery. Now listen to this. One minute of anger weakens your immune system for four to five hours, while one minute of laughter boosts it for 24 hours. On top of all this, y'all, laughter just makes you feel better overall. If you're having trouble getting started, let me give you some pointers. Try smiling. Find fun people who like to laugh. Evaluate your circle. Are they all serious? Does anybody laugh? If the answer is no, then get out there with funny people who love life and love to laugh. And if you know me, I've told my Starbucks story. I was in a Starbucks drive through It was just me by myself. I ordered my coffee. The guy repeated the order and he said, thanks, see you at the window. I was rolling up my window and I said, thanks. Something else came out of my mouth. I said, thanks, love you. I thought, oh my goodness, did I just tell the Starbucks guy that I loved him? I wanted to get out of that line. I was stuck. There was cars before me, cars behind me. I was stuck in that line. When I got to the window, I thought, man, I wish my girls were with me. There was this good looking younger guy with pearly white teeth, a smile as big as Texas. He leaned over the drive through window and the first thing he said to me was, so you love me, do you? <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Finally, I told him that I loved everybody in the whole wide world. I took my coffee and I've never been back to that Starbucks. There's a saying that goes, blessed are those who can laugh at themselves for they will not cease to be amused. Amen to that one. Listen, the bottom line is this, don't go a day without laughing. No matter how hard life is right now, find a way to bring some joy into your life. The scripture tells us that a merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. It's hard to be depressed when you're laughing. Bring laughter into your home. Watch a funny movie or a funny television show. Do something with your family that brings joy and laughter. Some of my fondest memories growing up are the times my family and I were together and laughing. And honestly, when we all get together, even now, it seems like we spend most of our time laughing. Laughter is good for the soul and it will always be the best form of therapy. Once you start laughing, you just might start healing. Y'all, life is too short to be serious all the time, and it's always, always, always better when you're laughing. You just watch what happens when you bring laughter into your home, your whole atmosphere will change for the better. I hope you've enjoyed it today, and until next time, have an amazing day.